Hello, I'm Michael Tyler, and I want to thank you for joining me for another free Vectric project video. This project is called the Crayon Box Wall Clock, and it's a great item to make for your kids or your grandkids, or even for yourself to hang up in your arts and crafts hobby room as a truly unique timepiece. Now I created this project for you by using the layout and the modeling tools in the Vectric Aspire software, but I've also made it compatible for Vectric VCarve and VCarve desktop users as well. Both the Aspire and the VCarve project files are included, along with an illustrated PDF set of instructions. Just log in to your VNCO account to download this free project at any time. Watch me now as I take you through step by step while we carve, cut, and finish the crayon box wall clock.
Okay, I've got the parts separated from the main boards and I'm just going over this, uh, giving it a look-see, make sure I don't have any fuzzies that'll interfere with the glue up. This top panel will glue to the uh, bottom panel. So I'm just making sure that uh, I don't have any remnants of wood or any fuzzies like that that interfere with that uh, flat glue up. Okay, so I'll finish that up and then we'll come back and glue these things together. Okay, I've let this dry overnight and I'm just in the process of removing all the clamps. And then we'll get to the final sanding and we'll test fit that clock insert once I sand the uh, tabs off of this um, clock insert hole. Okay, so I'll get back with you and we'll sand this thing up. I finished sanding the crayon clock overall and I'm going to apply the first stage of the finishing process. So I'm going to mix together equal parts of the bullseye zinser seal coat which is just 100% wax free clear shellac and I'm going to mix that with uh, an equal part of denatured alcohol. So that gives us a 50-50 mixture of a thinned seal coat and that acts as a great uh, sealer for the wood. Uh, prior to staining or whatever. In this case, I'll be painting this. Uh, and also, it's a great way to uh, raise the fuzzies if any are remaining and do a final sanding before you apply your final finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat one coat overall. Let it set up and dry a little bit and sand it. And then we'll see if we need to apply another coat of this thin seal coat and then proceed from there. I applied three coats of the thin seal coat and sanded between the coats. And I want to seal this just a bit further by using some clear Krylon uh, gloss spray, just a few light coats, and then I'll follow that up with a Krylon clear flat spray just to give bite to the paint. I'm gonna apply paint to this, but I want to seal this wood a little bit further uh, than just that seal coat. So I'll just apply a few light coats of the clear gloss and let that set just a teeny bit and then do the flat. All right, the wood's all sealed and ready to be painted. I've created a color guide that's included with your PDF instructions. And this will be a handy guide for me to follow. So I've got my acrylic craft paints separated here. I've got a hunter green, a lighter green, and sort of an orangish yellow for the box portion of the crayon clock. And then I've chosen colors for the crayons. You can choose any colors you like, but I've got uh, red, orange, uh, greens, blue, and uh, purple and black for these uh, 
bands that go across the crayons. So I'll go ahead and start painting the crayons first and then uh, proceed with uh, painting the background and the front of the box. Okay, I've got everything painted up on the uh, box here up to this point. Now, my original plan was I was gonna use my color guide and this uh, uh, sunflower colored craft paint to paint this area of the box. But after looking at it, after this is all painted up in this natural uh, pine, I really like the look of just leaving this natural. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead and not use the acrylic craft paint uh, yellow on this box. Now. Uh, all the paints dry and just a little tip here if if you slopped over a little bit on the edges like like I did here if you just use a, a single edge razor blade and just lightly scrape along there that'll take away those slop over areas uh, quite easily it's similar to a card scraper woodworkers are familiar with uh, what a card scraper does but I'm just using this razor blade. I got a lot of uh, control here. Now, of course, you could use uh, just regular sandpaper or whatever, but this makes it uh, go quickly. And it's really easy to do. So let's check and see if I've got any slop over on this side. Uh, not much, just a little. Okay. So these single edge razor blades make a handy dandy controllable small card scraper for little tasks like that. Okay, so uh, next step is we'll just apply our final clear coat finish overall. Here we go with the final clear coats. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply several light coats of the gloss crystal clear Krylon, and then I'll finish that up with uh, a few light coats of the Krylon satin clear. Okay, that completes the uh, crayon box wall clock, and I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. If you do decide to create one of these for yourself, please post pictures of it on the Vectric user forum and across your social media accounts. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also the Vectric monthly newsletter so you can be notified of all future free projects to be released. This is Michael Tyler. Until next time, be safe, be well, and happy carving.